All right, what's on the bench? It came in the mail today. I got my uh, uh, current amplifier from my uh, from my probe over there, and um, when I was scouting around on eBay, uh, there were several uh, choices. There's a lot of these actually out on eBay, and um, I ended up uh, putting a bid on this one. Uh, because not only did I get the plug-in, but I got the uh, the the one wide uh, uh, power um, module, so I have a power chassis plus the uh, thing, and and uh, it does work, um, so it's outputting power, and um, I made the guy offer for eighty-two dollars, <laughs> and he took it, so I got the whole thing for eighty-two dollars. Uh, which is just amazing uh, because you get this really cool, uh, this really cool uh, module. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's look at all the stickers on it because it's got really interesting stickers. All right, on the back here, we have a serial number and we have an identification number. Uh, and uh, this says uh, Beaverton, Oregon. And this says Beaverton. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Then uh, over on the top, well, let's see, on the side here, it says Dr. Design Incorporated. And uh, I don't know who Dr. Design is, but this is probably an asset tag. Uh, shout out if you know who Dr. Design is. And then uh, on the top of the instrument, let me move you guys a little bit. On the top of the instrument, we have a uh, rent, sell, repair, yeah, uh, advanced test equipment service, so nice sticker there. Then we have uh, some sticker here that was put on with uh, cellophane tape, AM503, blah, 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 calibrated only for use with a blah, 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 current. Anyway, they probably said you had to, you had to use a particular uh, serial number for it to be calibrated. They were calibrated together. Um, and down here, we've got Simcoe, A and serial number, day. This is Caltag, 2004, 2006. So that's not, that's not too long ago, right? <laughs> 20 years now, oof, that just isn't right. Um, but yeah, it's in very nice, very nice shape. Um, nice nice leather handle and still a good shape and everything so I really do like this thing um, now the the it's got a it's got a cool bale on the bottom if you want to flip it up so let's take a look at the front though all right so issues uh, the knob is broken uh, but the uh, uh, the bezel, whatever, the, all the numbers and everything that's on it are is still intact. Um, I did super glue the knob back in place, um, and so even though it's missing, you know, three quarters of the <laughs> of the plastic, it's uh, missing over there. Uh, it it is functional, and for the amount of use I'm going to put into it, I don't think it warrants me trying to 3D print a new knob. I could, but I uh, don't want to right now. So anyway, um, so the knob's broken. It's a funny knob though, the, it's, it's got a hollow shaft. And I'm wondering if there isn't some other, th I need to look at some pictures, see if there isn't another thing that goes in the center of this, uh, if this rotate thing. Um, this wasn't working right. It makes real bad feel, it, like it's crunching aside, like something's broke. Um, so I'm not sure about that, but, uh, cool Dymo label. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, cool push pull, uh, classic tech. So anyway, I'd uh, if anything else, $82 just for the power supply is a, <laughs> is a good deal, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, the little knobby things broken out, the pull tabs broken off here. Anyway, I think we'll uh, see if we can't try to get this thing out of here and disable the little tab thing so we can get it in and out easier. But I think for now, let's try it out, see if it works. All right, I've got the uh, 
probe attached here. I've got the output going into a 50 ohm load and the scope is input into 50 ohms here. Uh, there is an, uh, uh, a thing lit up. Looks like there's like two different settings, but I don't know how to get to them yet. I'm a little skeptical about this knob here. It has a center shaft that goes in. That center shaft is missing. And uh, I think maybe there's an adjustment in there, so we might have to rebuild that. Uh, but uh, the probe uh, is interesting. When you open up the probe, it says you're unlocked. And then you can open the... Uh, you can open the hatch and then uh, it will tell you that you are unlocked until you actually physically lock it. Um, okay, then we can go over to the scope. Let's see, can I get them? Yeah, we can do it all on one screen here. I think you can see that over there. Anyway, if we hit the degauss button, you can see that it's doing, doing some kind of AC signal that degauss is it. Um, all right, so if I, I have a loop of wire going through the uh, probe and if I put one amp into it, you can see that we've got, we've gone up. And if I change the gain knob, it goes down. So we're at the highest gain setting right now. And we are measuring maybe, oh, I don't know what we're measuring. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn on some markers. Let me do Y. Okay, that's good. Let's turn this off. I don't want to see it. Uh, I don't want to see this. And then we can change our... I don't want horizontal markers. I don't want horizontal markers. I turned them off. None of that. Okay. All right. Now, I just turn this knob here. There we go. If I'm here. All right. And then here. Oops, that's together. All together now. Now I can turn this. Okay, so when I turn my DC off, that is my low setting. So we're measuring 720 millivolts on and off. By the way, the camera, sorry about that, yeah. Yeah, so we're slewing 720 millivolts and it should be 10 milliamps per division. Uh, current per division with oscilloscope at 10 volts, 10 millivolts per division. So, what is our scope set to 10 millivolts per division? Uh, where's my, where's my AC? All right. We're at 500 millivolts per division. So, uh, let's see here. 10 millivolts per division. All right. And then we can back up. Huh. Uh, that doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be off scale. So I think there's a DC offset that I can't get rid of right now. We're, we're, we are below ground and we should be able to uh, use this knob here, I would think, to set the DC level. Um, and when I first turned this knob, I got a really weird sensation of crunchiness like this like this was broken inside um, it, and uh, I think yeah there's something funny going on inside with this one so I think this one might be damaged and I think there's a center thing here that goes between the two ranges maybe anyway I'm gonna have to read the manual but what I have is a working probe and it is reading current and uh, the, the uh, gain knob is doing gain things. So I think we're in good shape. Um, all right, there is one trouble with this. Um, and uh, let me, 
Let me show you what that is. I love that connect. I love that connector. All right. Um, these plugouts, plugouts, plug-ins have a latch on them, and this latch is broken off. Sorry, got the hiccups. Um, yeah, right there is that little pull tab that these um, these things have, and the pull tab is is just flush, and I don't think I can grab a hold of that. I just don't think I can. I don't think I can reach in there and grab that. Oh, maybe a little bit. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work. So I'm going to have to kind of like go in from the outside in. And see if I can't remove this. Uh, remove this plug in and start to work on it. All right. I was able to get this out. Um, there is a trick in case you need to know. I. I it seems like I remembered this, but anyway, there is a, a screw that you can take out right here. And what that does is it removes this rail. It lets that rail float. And that rail is the thing that the uh, catch goes onto. So the whole thing will come out. Uh, and uh, the catch is right here. And it looks like that catch is kind of kind of busted anyway, but I'll just kind of remove that. Anyway, uh, inside we also have a sticker. So it was loved. And um, another serial number on the plug-in. But yeah, let's uh, see if we can't uh, see if we can't pop. Oh, there we go. That one just popped right off. Oh, there we go. All right. That one's going to go on the, uh, let's see here, let's put it like this, and I'll put this on this side, and I'll put this one on this side, I don't know which is which, all right. Um, wow. So, once again, Tektronix loves these gold-on-gold -gold PC board switches. So that's what, uh, can you see, let me, let me move you over. So, I don't know if you can see way, let me get something to point with here. Way down in here, this little, these little fingers, that one, that's a good one there on the camera. And they cut, see it go down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. Anyway, it goes all the way along here. It's kind of like a, a attenuator pad type of thing, but might be just gain settings. Anyway, uh, let's see, the output comes from here. Uh, a couple fuses in the back, and then all the good stuffs on this side. Let's see here. Um, start on this end. A couple uh, bridge rectifiers, big caps, uh, some gold-plated uh, gold-plated transistors. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um. And then some specialized Tektronix stuff down here. That guy and that guy. They look like preamps that come out of a oscilloscope. Uh, let's see. All right, so... Well, I don't see anything. So I said uh, I wasn't sure if the, that, tu that hollow tube went anywhere. That hollow tube ends up here, and I don't see anything on this end of it, so... I'm not sure if the hollow tube does anything yet uh, at first glance. Um, and then here's the uh, here's the potentiometer that it's just a 10k pot and it it's just not feeling right at all. So yeah, it's got real funny. I'm sure I can find a replacement. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's really weird. This doesn't feel right. And it comes over here and plugs in here. So that'll be easy to work on. Put a new one of those in. Um, yeah, this thing's mint. Yeah, this thing's mint inside. So anyway, I say, uh, I say probably the only thing is that, is that uh, potentiometer there. And 
Uh, I need to read the manual, try to figure out what's going on here. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I made a very, very good purchase. Uh, can't beat the price. And I got this for free. I got this for 82 bucks. Uh, I think I'm in good, good shape.